I think every girl's dream is you earn a lot of money, you have a nice car, you have a nice house, you go out and you do what you, what you want to do. Money is no object. It's all perfect in your head when you're young, isn't it? You don't think about anything going wrong. But it does a lot. Lots of things go wrong. You've got the village green, which are the private houses and then you've got our part of the village, which is the council area. You can tell the difference. <laughs> Every penny kind of is accounted for in this house, which sucks slightly, but, um, you know, it's, it's, that's the way that we, we have to live, unfortunately. You do sit and think, you know, I wish I could give the kids more, I wish we could do more, I wish, you know, but it's life and you've got to deal with it. It's not like I'm getting given all this money and I'm going out and I'm having a wicked time. You know, I'm out like every weekend and in lovely posh clothes and got a big fancy car and stuff like that. I've got nothing. The kids, they understand, they know. If there's um, a child that's got two parents, both parents work, then they've obviously got more, you know, and they can provide more for their children. I'm on antidepressants from the doctor as well. Um, so, it, it, you know, everything seems to just hit you all at once. Something little will happen and just the whole, it feels like I've got everything on my shoulders. <laughs> And I knew that I couldn't possibly work and look after the both of them on my own, so I had to go down the benefit route. But that was my choice. It may not be liked by a lot of people, but I'd either do that or I, I couldn't look after them. You know, they'd have to be taken away because obviously I, can't, I couldn't do it all. I would like to go back to work. I would like to go back just part time. But I can't afford to go back to work. You know, with, with the government keeping on about trying to get everybody back to work and everything else, but it's not, there is nothing there to be made easy for us. Even though they stand and they say, you know, we're going to give you this grant to go back to work and we're going to help you with this much rent for you to go back to work. When all that stops, you're, you're back to square one and you're a living beyond your means because you can't afford to work when you've got to pay childcare or when you've got to, you know, pay full rent because you're working two hours over what you're supposed to be working. And that's awful in this day and age, in this society, to be able to sit here and say, I can't afford to go back to work. Life is easier on benefits. You know, it, it makes you feel horrible being on benefits. I don't like it and I don't like living on benefits but I can't afford to go back to work. I had two minor strokes. They automatically put you on a benefit, which is a joke really, because what the government says you need to live on, well, you know, how, how do you live on it? Do you know what I mean? I, I think I started off on something like 80 pound a week or something, you know, well, 80 pound a week. What's that? They're saying single parents have to work 26 hours now, and I'm thinking, hmm, okay, so how do I work around that one? <laughs> Trying to find something to make it up to 26 hours in the times that the kids are at school. I would find it harder if I had to, but I don't quite know why they're doing it or how it's working. The older children don't like to go for the free school meals because I think they feel embarrassed, the fact that they get them because um, obviously everybody knows because you, you, they tick your name on the sheet of paper and people behind you can actually see them doing that. I find that it would be so much easier if people didn't know who was entitled to free this or free that. I don't know whether Luke feels, you know, kind of embarrassed by it, but I know sometimes that I do. Apparently because I get working tax credits, I'm not entitled to free school dinners. 
They're always asking me if they can have dinners at school, and I'm saying, well, I can't really afford it. <laughs> so, yeah, so they'd have to sort of stick to their packed lunches for now. They look at it like, well, they've just had steak and kidney pie and mashed potatoes and peas, and then they have jam roly poly with custard, and they get. I suppose it, it sort of ticks over in their mind a bit. <laughs> because they're eating their sandwiches and they're looking at that thinking, hmm. I think every child should have oatmeal, especially on a cold day.